When we think about the internet, most of us imagine phones, laptops, social media, and streaming videos. But today, the internet has grown far beyond screens. It has quietly entered our homes, our streets, our workplaces, and even our bodies. This expanded digital world is known as the Internet of Things, or simply IoT. So, what exactly is the Internet of Things? You may not realize it, but IoT is already shaping how you live, move, and make decisions every single day. Let's dive in, right here on History of Simple Things. At its core, the Internet of Things refers to physical objects that are connected to the Internet and can collect, send, and sometimes act on data without constant human input. These objects can be as simple as a smart light bulb or as complex as industrial machines in a factory. What makes them special isn't just that they're connected, it's that they can sense their environment, communicate with other devices, and respond intelligently. To understand IoT better, imagine everyday objects gaining a digital voice. A refrigerator can tell you when you're out of milk. A smartwatch can track your heart rate and alert you when something seems wrong. Traffic lights can adjust their timing based on real-time road congestion. These objects are no longer passive tools, they're active participants in a connected system. So how does IoT actually work? Behind the scenes, it relies on a few key components working together. First, there are sensors. These are small pieces of hardware that detect things like temperature, motion, light, pressure, or location. Sensors gather raw data from the physical world. Next comes connectivity. Using Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, cellular networks, or even satellites, the device sends that data to the internet or a central system. Then there's data processing, often done in the cloud, where the information is analyzed. Finally, based on that analysis, the system may trigger an action, such as sending a notification or automatically adjusting a device. What makes IoT powerful is not just data collection, but automation. Instead of waiting for humans to notice problems and react, IoT systems can respond instantly. For example, a smart thermostat learns your daily routine and adjusts the temperature automatically, saving energy while keeping you comfortable. You don't need to tell it what to do every time. It adapts on its own. One of the most visible examples of IoT is the smart home. Devices like smart speakers, security cameras, door locks, lights, and appliances are all connected and controllable through a phone or voice command. You can turn off your lights while lying in bed, check who's at your door while you're at work, or schedule your coffee maker to start brewing before you wake up. These conveniences may seem small, but together, they redefine how we interact with our living spaces. Beyond homes, IoT plays a major role in healthcare. Wearable devices like fitness trackers and smartwatches monitor physical activity, sleep patterns, and vital signs. In hospitals, connected medical equipment can track patient conditions in real time, reducing errors and improving response times. For patients with chronic illnesses, IoT devices allow doctors to monitor their health remotely, catching warning signs early, and reducing the need for frequent hospital visits. IoT is also transforming cities into what we now call smart cities. In these environments, sensors are embedded in roads, buildings, and public infrastructure. They help manage traffic flow, reduce energy consumption, improve waste collection, and even monitor air quality. Streetlights can dim when no one is around, 
garbage bins can signal when they're full, and public transport systems can update schedules dynamically. All of this leads to cities that are more efficient, sustainable, and responsive to citizens' needs. In industries and businesses, IoT has become a powerful tool for optimization. In manufacturing, connected machines can detect wear and tear before they break down, preventing costly downtime. This is known as predictive maintenance. In agriculture, farmers use IoT sensors to monitor soil moisture, weather conditions, and crop health, allowing them to use water and fertilizers more efficiently. Retailers track inventory in real time, reducing waste and ensuring shelves stay stocked. Despite its benefits, IoT is not without challenges. One of the biggest concerns is security. Every connected device is a potential entry point for cyber attacks. If not properly protected, IoT systems can be hacked, leading to data breaches or even physical harm. Imagine someone gaining control of a smart lock or interfering with medical equipment. This is why strong encryption, regular updates, and secure design are critical in IoT development. Looking ahead, the future of IoT is closely tied to emerging technologies like artificial intelligence, 5G, and edge computing. Faster networks allow devices to communicate with minimal delay. AI helps analyze massive amounts of data more intelligently, enabling systems to learn and improve over time. Edge computing processes data closer to where it's generated, reducing latency and improving reliability. Together, these advancements will make IoT systems smarter, faster, and more autonomous. So, what exactly is the Internet of Things? It's not just a collection of gadgets. It's a network of connected objects that bridges the physical and digital worlds. It's about turning data into insight, insight into action, and action into better experiences. IoT is reshaping how we live, work, and interact with our surroundings, often without us even noticing. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.